the Scion FRS, Subaru BRZ, or Toyota 86. Call it what you like, this front engine rear-wheel drive platform provides an affordable means to a fun, entry-level sports car. While it looks and handles like a sports car should, many feel its 200 horsepower just isn't enough. Fortunately, a number of companies have come to the rescue with a bolt-on forced induction solution. These systems provide exceptional bang for the buck performance with power increases on the order of 80 to 120 additional horsepower. With so many choices available, D-Sport decided it was time to put these systems to the ultimate test so that you can decide which system best fits your needs. Welcome to the D-Sport 86 Challenge, presented by Enyos. To level the playing field, we equipped all of the vehicles with the same suspension, wheel and tire, brake, and engine oil combination. Enyos, DBA USA, Gram Lights, Mishimoto, ST Suspension, and Toyo Tires made it all possible. All of the on-track data was recorded by a Raceback Vantage CL1. This unique system actually allowed us to broadcast real-time performance from each of the vehicles during testing. We scored each of the systems in four categories. Preparation and installation, dyno, street, and track evaluation. Each system was evaluated based on the difficulty of installation, the dyno numbers, the street drivability, and all of the track data. A maximum score of 260 points was available. The Gretti GTXR Turbo Kit receives high marks for its price and fit and finish. Like all of the turbo systems, its installation difficulty was slightly more challenging than the supercharger systems. With the Gretti GTXR Turbo Kit in place, the four D-Sport editors had varied street driving impressions with scores ranging from a 6 to a perfect 10. Low scores noted a lack of initial boost response, while high scores loved the top end power. On the dyno, the Gretti system managed an overall second place finish with the boost peaking at 11 PSI. The system was only second to the HPS turbo system that was running at a more aggressive 16 PSI. On the streets of Willow Road course, the Gretti GTXR system really shined. It managed the quickest lap times and top exit speeds out of the turns. Only the HPS turbo system outperformed the Gretti system on the straightaways. If you don't need a carb legal solution for your FRS BRZ86, and you don't mind the additional installation time over a supercharger system, the Gretti GTXR system deserves a hard look. With a retail price of $5,200, excluding the cost of the Ecutech Reflash and lower profile electric fans, our overall points champion should put a big smile on the faces of those that have the budget. The HKS system serves as one of the best deals when seeking a forced induction solution for your 86 FRS BRZ. Most of the D-Sport editors agree that the HKS turbocharger system shines at the higher RPMs. The lower score of 5 noted that it can catch you off guard when the boost kicks in. On the dyno, the HKS system came in first with the highest peak horsepower while running the highest peak boost of 16 PSI. On the track, the HKS turbocharger system was second only to the Gretti. However, the HKS system was actually quicker than all of the systems on the straightaways proving that when the boost kicks in, the HK system is plenty fun. If you're looking for a tremendous peak power and torque numbers, and you don't mind a little additional lag, the $4,800 price tag on the HKS system can't be beat. On the streets, the AVO turbocharger system makes that 2-liter FA20 feel like a 3-liter V6. Power delivery is linear and smooth. Based on the driving impressions from the D-Sport editors, it came in only three points less than the Edelbrock Supercharger and equal to the Gretti system. On the dyno, the AVO turbocharger system scored the highest peak torque of 223 foot-pounds while coming in third in the horsepower department after the Gretti and the HKS system. Even while running moderate boost levels, the AVO turbocharger system scored highest peak torque of 223 pound-feet while coming in third in the horsepower department after the Gretti and HKS turbocharger systems. This turbocharger actually came in first in the average low to mid and mid to high horsepower categories. Unfortunately, the AVO system never saw track time due to clutch issues experienced with its test vehicle. With its linear power delivery, however, the AVO system could have shined on corner exits, maybe even winning the category. The AVO turbocharger system could be very well one of the friendliest turbochargers in street driving conditions due to its smooth power delivery. With a price tag just under $5,000, this could be a great addition to any daily driven FA20 that occasionally visits the track. If you're looking for the easiest to install solution to get boost in your FA20, the Vortex Centrifugal Supercharger can't be beat. The Vortex system scored relatively high when tested on the street. All editors agreed that its power delivery made it extremely easy to control the vehicle, making it one of the best solutions for daily driving. On the dyno, the Vortex Supercharger system delivered 228 horsepower 
that come on linearly, running at a peak of 10.5 PSI of boost. On the track, the Vortex system provided just the extra push needed to carry the car out of the corners properly. If you're looking for a predictable power delivery that you can take to the track with no prior experience, the Vortex Centrifugal Supercharger is right for you. The tuner kit costs $5,116, while the full kit comes in with a $6,665 MSRP. The Elderbrock E4 Supercharger scored first place in its price and fit and finish. Installation is not difficult and can be done by a mildly capable DIYer. The Edelbrock Supercharger was one of the favorites amongst our four D-Sport editors on the streets. Coming in first in the Street Impressions category, the Edelbrock was described as responsive, powerful, predictable, and all-around friendly. On the dyno, the Edelbrock system ran at 14 PSI of boost with a peak delivery of 248 wheel horsepower. Due to its positive displacement design, boost comes on quick and delivers all the way to redline. On the track, the Edelbrock Supercharger provided power from idle to redline. The quick responding throttle makes for quick corner exits and a consistent power complements the straights. Carb legal, excellent fit and finish, and superior throttle response make the Edelbrock E4 Supercharger of value at its $5,731 MSRP. So that wraps up the D-Sport Magazine 86 Challenge presented by Enyos. Thanks to Enyos and all of our supporting sponsors for making it possible. And thanks to you for subscribing to our D-Sport channel.